Hi there, this is Kali, here to introduce John, who will give you a brief demonstration of Vertile Web Access, our thin client browser-based 3270 terminal emulator. To start, I'd like to show you the Vertile application menu. You can reach this menu by using the URL that you see here. You could have this URL as a link to click on in a web page. For the purpose of our demo, I am executing it directly from the toolbar. When you execute the request, you will be prompted to sign on using your mainframe user ID and password. I will now enter my credentials. After you input your credentials and sign in, you will then see the Vertel application menu. Each line in the menu represents a started task that has been defined to Vertel, or what Vertel refers to in its documentation as an application. These tasks could be CICS, TSO, IMS, your session manager, or any other started task. The green light in front of an application indicates that the task is running and available. The red light indicates the task is not active and unavailable. Let's click on TSO, which is a TSO instance on our mainframe. What you are seeing is what Virtel presents to you, a full function 3270 representation in a browser setting. You will be able to utilize all of the function keys, arrows, tabbing, and so on that you can use in a traditional 3270 browser. The actual name of the terminal that you have signed on with and its associated printer are shown in the lower right of the page along with the row and column number that represents the position of the screen cursor. In addition, a toolbar is provided for specific functions that will be described later on in this demo. Now I will enter my user ID and press enter. This is the standard TSO logon. I will fill out my credentials again, but you can configure Virtel to pre-fill this page with the credentials that you have previously entered. After pressing enter again, we have now signed into TSO and I'm paging through all the messages that my mainframe puts out at the start of a session. Eventually, we will reach the primary ISPF menu. I will now enter a 2 to go to TSO editing and press enter. Again, this is a standard 3270 screen represented as a web page. As you can see, I can tab through the fields just as if I were using a TN3270 interface and will be prevented from typing in protected areas just like I would be again with a standard 3270 interface. I will now press enter to get a list of members in my PDS to edit. I will select dollar Arbo load and press enter. This is a standard edit session. I can page up and down in this document and use any of the standard PF key functions. I can also use the keyboard on the toolbar to perform those same functions. For example, PF8 to page down and PF87 to page up. Also on the toolbar, I can do a copy or cut of text. I can do that by highlighting the piece of text that I want to copy and click the copy button and then put my cursor where I want to paste the text and click the paste button. We can do a send or receive of data from our PC to the mainframe and back. We can also capture our screen for printing, which I can do just by doing that. And clear the screen print buffer. And we can record and play 
macros. In this case, we can use this button to record a macro, and in this case, we can use this button to play macros. As an example, I'm going to go back to the primary me option menu for ISPF, and I'm now going to play a macro which will take me back to the list without me having to do any typing on the keyboard. There are also some basic characteristics of the screen that we can change by clicking on the settings icon. From here, you can change the characteristics of some of the PDF keys, change your font size and definition, and change what your cursor looks like, among other things. Now we will enter equal X on the command line and press enter to exit TSO. And issue the log off command which will take us back to the Viertel application menu. We will now show what a standard CICS session will look like with Viertel. Let's click on the CICS link. Again, we're going to be asked to provide our credentials to get back into the mainframe. In this case, we have pre-configured Viertel to sign on to our CICS region automatically so that you don't have to enter your credentials twice. I'm now going to clear the screen and type in a CICS transaction. In this case, we have a standard 3270 session in the browser, again, that behaves exactly as a TN 3270 web session would. We can enter data in the fields and press enter. Now we can put this application through its paces by pressing enter to do a search. We will type in red headed league, which comes from a Sherlock Holmes story and press enter. And finally, we will press enter again to view our first result. As you can see, highlighting is honored on the screen just like it would be with a 3270 session. Now we're going to place the cursor on the word Ez Ez Ezekiah right here and press PF11 to make that word line up with column one on the screen which is what the application does. And this shows again that the, all the cursor positioning is honored with the Viertel Web Access solution, just like it would be with a 3270 terminal emulation. We will now exit the application by pressing PF12, followed by PF3, and now sign off of CICS in the normal fashion return to our application menu. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you now have a better understanding of Vertel Web Access, our thin client browser-based 3270 terminal emulator. If you want to know more about Vertel Web Access or other Vertel products, please check our video library. Keep your mainframe front and center with Vertel.